Hello and welcome back to Manufacture Nuclear Edition. Since last time we have had an update, so there is a bit to talk about when I get rid of this fly. If I can just hit it. There we go. Ah, <laughs> wrong key. So, a few things have happened. I have uh, let, uh, let's let's walk in here. I think this is a bit safer. Now, last time we were struggling a bit with our observatory. Turns out that removing Xnet from the pack also removed these dishes. And without that it didn't work. So Xnet has been added back in and we now have dishes on this one again. So that's one of the things that's happened. Uh, there's also been some added research for bioplastics. And they use a lot of things we haven't even looked at yet. Challenges have been reworked a little bit mm, there. So 10 blue research will allow me to get this stuff. And then we can start submitting all of these. We are not really going down that path yet. Although getting a creative capacitor is always nice. I mean, 10K? Yeah, sure. If we can then add some batteries all around it so we can pull max power out, that would be nice. There's some uh, assembler uh, machines, new recipes. So the assembly machine one, a basic boiler, basic steam generator, they can be repackaged in a packager. Woohoo! That's nice. So we can get rid of the, all those uh, spares we have lying around. There's now also a way to make liquid plastic from plastic sheets, although that is not very efficient. Some more uh, electric furnace recipes and also in the induction furnace. And waste ore can be cooked into nuggets. So that's about it for for the update. Let's just oops there. Let's just have a quick look through. Nothing has really changed on this one. Automation wise, we're still looking at the same. We may want to look down into these at some point. Processing is the same. Logistics is more or less the same, except we got viaducts. I don't think that was in the, the notes, but uh, they're missing the texture. So uh, good luck with that. Let's see. Um, anything else here? No, I don't think so. Let's check the power options. I have managed to unlock these at some point. Wind power, 100 RF per tick, might be worth looking at now. And the same with solar. Now there's been some change here, I thought, but maybe not. I mean, who does not want to have these? I mean, 9,000 RF per tick, that's pretty decent. But again, long distance transport is not really. Ooh. Don't know what they are, but uh, sounds nice. We also got energy lasers available for unlocking on yellow. That will have to come. Organic. I think we have bioplastics down here. But while I can unlock it, there's no reward. Um, that seems to be missing something. That's a bedrock. So that doesn't count. Nuclear, we could look at red eggs. We could look at uranium processing for yellow cake and getting nuclear reactors. Water cooled, liquid lead cooled. Ooh, 10,000 RF. But high radiation stuff. Yeah. Uh, we can look at this. That might actually be worth it. 
Military wise, we are lagging behind, I think. We should really work a bit more on this. This one is a Tesla coil from Immersive Engineering. And <clears throat> yeah, that's an area denial weapon. Space wise, we are not look uh, not really opening up yet, but we do have a few destinations here. Adethi, it's a moon, Niflheim, mm -hmm. frozen moon, Vulcan, yeah, hot, and Therok, forest moon, For forest planet. I wonder if we have a world ship there. That would be nice. Library, and we have already looked at this. Right, that was a slight mishap. Let's get outside again. Now, as you probably noticed, I also put in concrete here. And I took a look at what was going on here. And, whoops, there's a tree. What is actually happening is that uh, you can only have limited sources for various materials. So in this case, I'm just going to carry these by hand. And that is just about it. Um, haven't really done that much work. I should really do the same on this. No, this, this one will work. Ah, to go away. This one does work because that's just the, that source. That works fine enough for that. Now, what I have been doing is looking at what I should do next. It is fairly... Okay, there was a tree underneath. I was just... Why is there random leaves in the sky? Now, I have been looking a little bit. I want to go towards yellow science. That should be the logical next step. Let's point with this fly lava. Or maybe this one, the parasite. So I need yellow plants. I need circuit fours. I need to do titanium processing. I'm gonna need low density structure and energy cells. That's quite a lot of things and a lot of blue. So that's not gonna happen anytime soon. I would also like to do a building gadget. And I want a chainsaw and drill. It's time to get away from these things. And that one is empty and I just dumped random stuff in here. I can't even remember what this one is. That Oh, that's a mission. An assembly too. Now, I did also do a slight expedition to get lava. So I have a bunch of lava here. I got 40 buckets of lava from a volcano over there, simply digging down and taking out all I could. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, one thing that it doesn't say on the sign is that I would also like to do something about my shipping containers. And let's see, I need a bit of green. That should be this one. Yep, there it is. Grab that as well. Because that storage is not really doing it for me. I would like to have a storage similar to this. I know there's a lot of pipes going on, but I think that will work quite a bit better. And if I sound funky, it's I got a bit of hiccups, so... I don't know, it's annoying, but uh, we'll work through it. And if we take a look at that, uh, we already unlocked the, the caches, cage, ca or whatever they're called. So with this, I can upgrade it. I'm not sure I can do it in world, but maybe a simple crafting recipe. Let's just check. I mean, it's stone, steel gears, fluid ducts, and those. 
and it looks like a simple crafting recipe to upgrade. So we can upgrade the cores. That might be worth doing. I mean, it, it's probably good. We'll see. Now, <clears throat> I want to start out with the drill and the chainsaw. So that's the green stuff. We're just going to grab all the green. And where did that belong? That's up here. I think uh, mining drill first. Now, I do need to do fuel tanks. So um, there is that little. There. Let's see. To make this, I need two tungsten plates, a large engine, a plastic, and steel gear. Yep. Let's get over this side first. I should have a lot of plastic here. And in that one, one piece of plastic. Bunch of radiation. It's fine. What else did I need? And it's this one. I need large engine and four steel gears. Four steel gears, I can get in here. One, two, three, four. Now tungsten, that might be... Eh, I got these. Let's just quickly check. No plates. Nope. That's good. We have one handy dandy machine down here. Please platify these. Thank you. I'll run up and get one wooden engine. And then we'll see. Now the idea is I'm gonna expand my factory here all the way across so it fills up those two floors. That way I should be able to do what I need. Um, not Indian, not Indian, also not Indian. Ah, Indian. Right, one Indian. And now we just need a fuel tank, which requires fulium in a chem plant, which requires aluminium plates and silicon glass. Did I have something set up to make silicon glass? I sort of think I do somewhere. But where? That's not silicon, that's not silicon, that's a chest. That's more engine, it's cobalt. I know I have, what do we? Oh, what the heck? This is what I want to do. It's silicon dust. What did I use this stuff for? I know I crafted something with it. Was it? No. No. Wait a minute, I crafted observatory with it. Okay, that's why I can't remember. Well, I can remember crafting it, but not really where. So that was a one-off. Let's see if we can get some silicon. Uh, tungsten, no. Aluminium plates. How many do we need? Two. Okay. 
you know what? We're just gonna go here and say, yeah, you can drop that. And please give me silicon. No. Does it cover this one? Hey. Nope. Recipe. Thank you. Silicon dust, which comes from a silicon bowl, which is way not what we're doing. Well, I guess um, I guess we could uh, look for it, but I have no idea where it would be. Not here, not there, not there, definitely not there, and not there. Hmm. I wonder where I got my silicon from last time. Was that over there? I might have gotten it from the stuff over here. Ah, now we have to go underneath. Yeah. That's silicon, and that's silicon. That's not where silicon goes. Is this the silicon? No. This one? No, that's lime. This is where I'm using all of it. I guess... Um, I will have to find an alternate source then. Over here maybe? Nope. Because you are full of sulfuric waste water. Because we are not spending enough sulfur. Um. Yeah, that's definitely not what we want. Just dump that there. So, where would I get my silicon from? I'm just gonna stop these and be right back whenever I got the silicon we need. All right, now I finally got the last piece I wanted. So we're just going to make eight pieces of this uh, silicon glass because we are going to need a few of these fuel containers. Otherwise, I can't reload it with fuel. And that's going to be bad. So let's hurry over here and check out what is it I need to do. Because I need... This, that means smelt them up. Yes, sure, I can do that. I got my two tungsten plates. I got this and I got this. So I basically just need those fuel tanks. Ooh, more blue. And I'll just grab a little bit of green as well. We'll have two. So we can make two fuel tanks. And let's see. We just need to hand in those two. I think I have enough green now. Um, where did my aluminium stuff go? I think I already have plates for it. So uh, let's just 
use this one over here and go hello me there please give me 16 thank you very much now oh, i just need to wait for them to arrive and wow that's a bit jerky on the motion There's definitely some, some not so nice things happening here. I mean, I got cobalt in here. It's nice. I got titanium. Ah, it'll last for a while. But um, ah. It's arrived. And I got 32 of it. Yeah, yeah. That'll do. And we got all eight. Good. So let's see. I need the L13 plan for this. L13 there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good. L13 there. That means I should now be able to go into the project table. How come I cannot? That's because this one is not full. It needs to be full of helium. So I wonder what happens over here. If I pop that in, will that make a difference? Nope. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I need to supply it with something to make this stuff. I need uh, coal. Sure. Let's just go in here and say coal. Processed coal. Where is it? There it is. Please keep a stack because I already have one. Thank you. So if I do that, will that do something funny? It's definitely working. Definitely filling that up, but not these. Can I fill them by clicking on this? No, I cannot. Can I fill them here? No, I cannot. So basically, I need a chem plant. And did I already spend all my coal? I did. Right. I need a temporary chem plant now. Mm, how can I get a bit of fluid? Maybe a bucket? Do I have a bucket here? Yes. I just want to see what happens. Do I need a special thing? No, I don't need a recipe for it. Can I bucket this? I sure can. Can I? Yes, I can. Can I then? Mm, yes, I can. Okay, how much does it take? 
takes 600. So I'm just going to run a little bit back and forth. Uh, let's see. Ah, can't, no, I can't. I just had to see if I could just use that to fill it up. So we'll take three buckets more. Because that should give us six fuel tanks. A fill. Thank you. There, one more. And... Oh, that should actually give us the eight we had. There we go. And this one is... Almost full. There we go. We'll just leave that little bit in there. And be happy. Because now we can make a mining drill. There we go. However, if I look at this, I can fit it with a carbon drill. And what does that mean? It means... Um, I have no idea. Oh, it means an upgrade. So instead of uh, pickaxe class 3, it will become pickaxe class 4. And slightly faster. Sneaking is silk touch. Right, let's get out and try it out. I have a bit of terrain that could do with clearing. Not in the hole. But over here. Oh yeah, we have to take a look at this one as well. I completely forgot. Now, some friendly people mentioned that this one should always be inside one chunk. So, um, that was the wrong one. Yeah, we have chunk borders. And yeah, we are right on the edge. So we are inside the chunk. Let's see, what do we have in here? Holy smokes, we got silicon ore. Ooh, nice. We got nickel. We got silver. Now, if we take a look on this side, I've basically set it up with as many tiny as I could get my hands on. And this one is just keeping fuel and one of those question is does it have the it's missing in oh it's missing the plan nope it's got that one what is it missing i have no idea but i know that's a fly now it's a dead fly Let's see, I want the silicon ore. Because I am going to fit that through over here. We want the silicon to be available. Let's see, what do you got here? What, what can I do? I can smell it into this. I don't want that. I can grind it into this that I do want. So I'm going to set you to be secondary on that. And then you just deliver silicon dust. Yep. And that's easy. Now, I know a lot of that is going to go into... Ah, we're just gonna dump half of it here. Like so. Ooh, tiny coal. Tiny copper. Is that because this is the default 
yeah, tiny tin and tiny iron. They should come out of here uh, at some point. I hope. Otherwise, I'm I'm having a slight problem, but we'll figure it out. And the rest of this, I'm gonna keep on hand for whatever crafting purposes I need. But it doesn't change the fact that I need to go in here and those can fit there. And we needed to test this one. So let's get over here and just see how it goes. Oh, look. Look how fast. And it shovels and it it does all the things at once. Oh, this is nice. Ow. What's shooting me? You. Ha, <laughs> you're stuck. Bang. Now, can I see how much it has left? Nope, I can't. I don't know how much fuel it's actually using. I was a little bit too busy to actually watch my inventory as well. Oh, it has a lot. Ah, I've used 12 out of 300 fuel. That's not bad. Now I just need to cover that up. But we have our first new tool. Now, I need something more to be tested. There was a mention of a silk touch mode. So if I sneak. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Look at this. Oh, it disappears over there. That's why I don't see it. Oh, he dropped, dropped some shotgun for us. Nice. And this one can go and be replaced with one of these. Now, I would expect... Oh, yeah, there it is. Takes a little while. See? Slip touch grass. And that will also give me, what's that warning? It's one of these, what's the warning? Uh, safe mode, thank you. I don't want to blow stuff up. But I think that will all for this time. I got my mining drill and I got a way to refuel it. So I'm quite happy about that. And the speed is good. I mean, certainly nothing to complain about. Whatever it is. So digging is now a lot easier. I just need to supply coal or something. And there is a mob right there. And there's been one of those creepy crawlies through here. But with our mining drill, let's see if I can figure this one out. Aha, mining drill. I'll see, yeah, can't speak. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.